Hey YouTube, Ray Marco with Ray Marco's Garage. In the uh, Hudson Hornet, just left my house. We're heading to Red Deer and then to, uh, what's that place there? We're going to Scott Super Trucks in uh, Penhold. Penhold, Alberta. And then we're gonna stop by Katarina's Garage, see if I can give her a hand with something on her car. And then we're gonna hit Lethbridge and be ready for tomorrow morning. So it's been a very busy time. I haven't even cut my grass. We got Matt here by the way and Sandy of course I've seen him so everything's good. All right just got the bumper to bumper. I'm gonna pick up a couple things of brake clean, some rags, fuel filters. Bumper to bumper check them out if you're ever an empty parts. Go there. It's 11:49. Heading out of Edmonton, I'm going to stop and get fuel on the way out, fill up, and head down. Peter challenge the drive shaft is touching the underbody of the car and one of the supports and now that of course I got more weight in the car and three people this problem is is real and I'm going to use this 36 grit sandpaper wrap it around the drive shaft go underneath tape it on there so at least when the drive shaft rotates it'll actually grind away at the car and not at the drive shaft to wreck anything so let's go underneath so as you can see right now we're just looking at some paint damage but I don't want this to turn into collateral damage and cut into the drive shaft or cause some serious problem. If this breaks or folds up on me, drive shaft could come out of the car, you could have a big catastrophic problem. So it looks like I may have a rubbing problem here, but at least that's on some smooth sheet metal. And maybe I take a hammer and beat that up. But right here, this is my real problem here. So my goal is is to wrap this sandpaper around so when it touches, it's gonna actually just take away the metal on the car and not at the drive shaft. It has to rotate. So we want to wrap this sandpaper around the drive shaft in that manner. Just like that. Let's keep going. Of course the drive shaft is so close to the floorboard already. Okay. Now, when it touches here, this will become like a big sanding disc. It'll clean up that area and make some room for this drive shaft so it doesn't touch. Of course, I'm wearing my Excel Driveline t-shirts to do this job, which is great. Alberta, Scott Super Trucks, 
Sandy wanted to pick up some parts for his truck we were heading down, so hey, why not? It's on the way. So the Hudson seems to have made it this far. It's just outside of Red Deer, so I've done about 200 kilometers. And everything's okay other than that drive shaft thing, uh, which actually now is kind of wearing a groove in there. I'll try and get underneath the car and show you what that looks like. Taking a little piece out of the sandpaper, but if you see what it's done to the floor on top there, it's kind of notching it out and sanding it smooth so that the drive shaft doesn't touch anymore. This place is so cool, I don't know if you can see in the background there. Even the hedge over there looks like a Chevy emblem. All right, so here we are in Sundry, Alberta. And of course, it just started to rain here. And I helped, I was working with Katerina and Katerina's garage with her Mustang. Stitch, that's it. Lilo and Stitch were the two. Yep. And she sold Lilo, this is Stitch. I was down here two weeks ago. I did a full walk around on this car and then I lost, like the camera wasn't on, right? Go figure. Uh, so anyway, she wants some help with her taillights. So since I was heading this way to go to Lethbridge, stopped by, gave her some help with some wiring. But I'm going to leave that, you go watch out her video and she'll have a video on that wiring system and what we did so that she can get the likes and the views. So go check her out, that's Katarina's Garage with a K. Alright, well we just left uh, Sundry, we're heading now back to Olds and then through Calgary down to Lethbridge, get a hotel room. So far everything's going well with the car. Uh, fuel, temperature's good, everything seems to be okay. So just have to stop and get some more fuel here at Olds and then keep going. Uh, here we are, we just got up in the morning, hotel close to where we got to be, casino where we're starting is just over there and got in late last night, it was really late, I was going to shoot a little video but I was really tired, got in about 2 in the morning and just had to go to sleep, it was like, so it was just uh, it's pretty dark as you can see, maybe this footage here that I got. and. Um, Anyway, so we're going to go head over to the event. Uh, first, we're going to grab some coffee and things. All right, well, it's the morning of at the event. And we just got registered and signed in and judged. And we're going to go around and walk around see other vehicles that are here. This one is a real definition of everything that the event should be. There we go. They even did the running boards. I love the order. Awesome. So much uh, cool things on this uh, build. A, even the Peters drive in. If you live in Alberta, you know what that's about. The coat hanger antenna. It's not at six. So that should probably make it. There's a definition of fun. Same horn that I have, check that out. <laughs> um, I have to check with the registration. I think that wrench goes over budget for the build. Um, Those are like $300. Oh, like <laughs> oh it's on sale. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's cool. Yeah. And you still own one. Best color too. That's cool. These were great cars. They were ahead of their time.
team water down. Service truck. It's like a mid 80s Buick. Probably got the 307 in it. That's a nice car. Seeing this car reminds me of trains, planes, and automobiles. If you ever seen that movie with John Candy, but uh, the interior is not burnt out of this one. But Alright, so as you can see, sandpaper's done a fairly good job, but it had come off uh, on the highway. So I'm going to go ahead and rewrap that with some new stuff. Our book for the August 28, 29, 2021, The Flatland Fails, Great Beater Challenge. This is kind of a our map route, so we got our turn by turn sort of navigation of where we got to go. So, anyway, I'm going to hand that off to uh, somebody and we're going to get some fuel, some motion lotion, if you will, and uh, start this trek. Okay, we just uh, got 20 bucks worth of gas to fuel station here, and we got Parkland Films just over here. Uh, his wife's in the van and He's in the truck in the far side there. So we're kind of going to travel in a group here, have some fun. Basically, we're just uh, making a stop here to take a picture. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, you see there's guys here. So we all make these stops to do this. 
take pictures and get together. What I'm doing here is gotta get a picture of my car in front of the grain elevator. I just parked it in the ditch there. All right, so that's how it's done. Let's go see what's going on over here. Looks like a hood up, trunk up, maybe some trouble. I got a YouTube channel. Yeah, so what's your YouTube channel? Roy Marcos Garage. Roy Marcos? Roy, Roy R-O-Y, yeah. I, I've been so busy, I didn't even get to put it on my car. Um, it's still working. Okay, it's <laughs> Everybody, <laughs> thing is, I, I've done that like six times now. There's no water in there. It's just oh, steam. Right? Uh, yeah. It's a little hot. A lot hot. No, fans even close to So now without the speedo cable, you get excited. You go too fast. You overheat. Well, this is my favorite car here. I gotta say. I, I'm liking yours. It's well, I, I I can't say my own, right? What, Other what than my own, this is my favorite car, 51. Yeah, so that's the oldest, right? So far, yeah. Yeah, because that 56 that came in. The that's old, yeah. yeah. It's so hokey, but it's it's so cool. I know, but it's so cool, right? It's so cool. No, so anyway, a uh, little bit of problem with the Valiant overheating, but that's okay. They got water. We're gonna get it back in there. And hopefully, hopefully it's all good. Uh, this is my favorite. Other than, well, you can't vote for your own car, so this is my favorite car here. So. Mind you, that K car convertible is pretty cool. I like that car too. Yeah. You guys got a hose that's leaking somewhere, maybe? Yeah. Or? yeah I tightened up all the hose clamps that I could get to. I think the bottom one was leaking. We pulled over to the side of the road for uh, the photo walk and uh, dumped a bunch of coolant out on the drinker side. I say, well, that's the lower hose. What you need to do is, is have a jug on the roof with a hose that constantly fills it up <laughs> as you drive. <laughs> this guy's not afraid of overheating. He's leaving it running. <laughs> Show off. <laughs> All right. They got that slant six going, so we're going to get going. Let's go in and see what all the fuss is about. Okay, I'm in the gift shop or the museum. I'm gonna pick up an Alberta flag, but they got toothpaste and toothbrushes. Just in case you happen to come to this town and you forgot yours. Yeah, cool. Okay, so here we are at the Exicum Museum. That's how it's pronounced, town of Exicum. So, anyway, yeah, I'll show you some stuff in the back here that they got. Okay, so this has this giant Dutch windmill here. It's pretty cool. They have like, they said building inside, probably houses everything, and big wooden blades. And then of course they have a bunch of windmills here at this museum. And of course old agricultural equipment, as you can see in the background. This is one of the stops that we have.
Randy's in his glory, he's got a road map. Manny's making bread. If you ever in Consul, Saskatchewan, that's where I am now. Check them out. Awesome food. Um, they don't have an open service station today, uh, so basically I'm on E, so I'm going to put my last $10 of fuel from the jerry can into the car, which is kind of like I have a little small jerry can there. And hopefully that'll make us to the next town, which is uh, 70 five kilometers away. Thirty-five twenty. Here we go, guys. away from the fuel service station so we'll be getting some gas. We made it. on the tour and on the trip. This has been a lot of fun, a lot more things than I've ever expected. And yeah, we get to go in the museum and look around with no cost as part of the thing. And we can take some pictures and of course it's also part of our point system. So this is fantastic. Now, so yeah, this is in East End, Saskatchewan. If you're ever here, please check it out. It's a great little museum. I think I'm gonna have to bring the kids here later sometime. They will have you the uh,
All right, here we are, we're arriving in Cadillac, Saskatchewan, and we're pulling into what seems to be the campsite. All right, here we are. So everybody's uh, planning on building some sort of house and staying the night, except uh, me, because I don't do camping, and I don't have any of that equipment, so I'm just going to be sleeping in the car, I think. All right, well, it's uh, time's here. About 8.15 in the evening, and... We're gonna just sort of get some shut eye and hang out. Some people got some pretty cool setups here. They got like a whole living room set up right out of the back of their van. Let's go check that out for a moment. Well, they got the whole tent on the roof, sleeping quarters inside, campfire and seats outside. They got a whole thing going on. So that's good. I'm not much of a camper. I, uh, I'm sleeping in the car. This is it for this video. Uh, tomorrow we'll start up the new video on the trek back and and also maybe on the way home and we'll see if the old Hudson Hornet makes it today it went off pretty much without a hitch I dropped a little bit of weight uh, we put it in the back of the truck from uh, Parkland films and we're gonna just um, I lightened up the car so the drive shaft doesn't hit the center sort of hump there anymore and the sandpaper that was on there kind of flew off so that's where we're going to try and travel we're going to travel together in a pack and sort of stick together and then i'll pick up that stuff back when we're on the alberta side and then anyway if you like these videos please subscribe hit that like button ring that bell for notifications have yourself a great day and i'll see you on the next video thanks for watching You know what happened? You weren't recording. Oh, was it not recording? No. Oh, I thought you pressed the uh, record button. No, I didn't. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, well, make sure I'm in it. Her Mustang, which is, um, got a name? Stitch. <laughs> Stitch, that's it. Lilo and Stitch were the two. Six, uh, Oldsmobile. Where? Don't expect much talking out of Matt. He's not a talker. He said so. I don't care what you say. This is the coolest car here so far. I probably can't use this on YouTube because it has music in it. Do you know the name of this town? What are we in? Does anybody know the name of this town? Something. Yeah. Uh, anyway, there it is. If you can pronounce it, you're better than I am.